Okay, welcome to today's seminar. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Xu Dong Liang as today's speaker. Uh, Xu Dong currently works at the Chinese Academy of Meteorological Science and is, and is now the director of State Key Laboratory of Severe Weather. Xu Dong got his master's degree in 1997 from Nanjing Institute of Meteorology, focused on 40 watt technique based on MM4. He got his PhD in 2007 from Institute of Atmospheric Physics at Chinese Academy of Science, focused on model constrained 3D VAR and its application to tropical cyclones. From 1997 to 2009, he worked at the Shanghai Typhoon Institute. Uh, from 2010 to 2015, he worked as the director of Beijing Institute of Urban Meteorology. Xu Dong has a long career on data simulation, typhoon, and numerical modeling. He's now visiting DTC for one month to work on his DTC visit project. Today, he will present his work on this project. Xu Dong, welcome. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, good uh, so, uh, good afternoon, uh, everybody. Uh, I'm going to uh, give a uh, talk this afternoon about the uh, radar, radio velocity assimilation. Uh, so uh, I'll give some introduction and uh, uh, give the ideas of the uh, new operation operator and uh, how we uh, merge that operator in GSI and uh, uh, finally give a primary, uh, some primary results of the case, case test. So uh, we know uh, the radar observations including uh, including the uh, reflectivity and the radio uh, velocity. Uh, the re uh, refle uh, reflect, uh, reflectivity uh, were uh, successfully used in now casting and also uh, in the numerical uh, sh short range or uh, uh, short range uh, numerical uh, weather uh, forecasting. Uh, but uh, there are some challenges for, for, for us to use the uh, radio velocity in um, numerical uh, numerical model uh, because the uh, uh, conventional uh, uh, conventionally the ob observed, uh, observed parameters and the dismatch of of the uh, resolutions. So there are some uh, challenge uh, and uh, and uh, uh, there, because there are some problems. So. Uh, and well, the uh, impacts of the radar velocity in numerical m model are un uncertain. Uh, uh, sometimes it's uh, case de dependent. Uh, so uh, the uh, radar uh, velocity, uh, it can be directly assimilated, uh, such as uh, the GSI and FDA the, the systems using this, uh, this, op uh, this, uh, this op operator. Uh, using this operator, we can say that there are three uh, variables or control variables. If we uh, eliminate the uh, vertical uh, of motion, there are also have two uh, two variables and with one observation. So it's it's it, it, it's a challenge for us to solve two variables using one uh, equation. So this is a uh, problem. So the uh, so uh, using this operator, there are some problems we are, uh, I listed here. Firstly, and we know that the radar uh, velocity is a projection of uh, wind components, such as UV or UVW, to one component. So you use this, uh, you, you this equ uh, e equation, it's an underdetermined problem. Because that, so the uh, the, the pattern of the radio velocity is uh, is wind directly dependent. For example, if we have the, uh, this kind of wind, the uh, westerly wind, we have good observation in this, this, these regions. Uh, observations are good, and th in these regions, the operations are poor. Uh, in other case, if we have the uh, southerly uh, wind. The observation at this region, inward and outward, the operations are good, and in this region, the operations are, are poor. So uh, if we have the, uh, this pattern of the uh, wind, so the uh, radar can observe 
uh, went in this uh, inward, outward, uh, have, have good observation in this region, uh, and it, it cannot observe wind and this this region. So if I submit this uh, this observation in model, the analysis uh, increment or generally exists in this area and this area, yeah, the analysis increment. So it will cause the uh, uh, uncont uh, uncontinuity at, at this region. So that's, that's a, a large problem. So the, uh, the discontinuity caused, uh, caused by the wind, uh, it's dependent on the wind di direction. And uh, there is another uh, problem, and, uh, and we mentioned uh, the, the, uh, the difference of, uh, of the resolution between the model and the radar observation. Generally, we use the super orb of the radar observation. We can say that the, the resolution is also uh, variant and was uh, uh, different uh, um, from the model. So there are some um, challenges for us you, you, uh, you, using the uh, traditional uh, operator. So there are some problems. Firstly, it's, it's an underdetermined problem. And the second is this continued to uh, caused by the uh, it's, it's wind, uh, wind, wind uh, direction dependent. So how we assimilate uh, that uh, traditionally? Firstly, we decrease the resolution of the uh, radar. You use, uh, for example, we use a super orb. You so to decrease the resolution, and we then we use uh, use the data signing method to uh, reduce. The data uh, in, uh, in uh, the grid, uh, and it, even we do this method, and we we can say that the, the, the result is also uncertain because this problem is underdetermined. There are uh, there are uh, there are uh, generally there are uh, not, not, there are, there are some a lot of uh, results for this equation so the result the results is generally a case dependent dependent so this is a big problem for a radar uh, velocity assimilate is is an underdetermined problem so how to solve an underdetermined uh, problem uh, there are two ways uh, firstly we can use more uh, constraints or more equations. Frequently, we, we can use more observations. So there are two, uh, there are two methods. So uh, for example, Vegas is a, uh, I think research is an example to use this uh, uh, data successfully because the, this, uh, this system, it uses a four-dimensional variational data assimilation uh, method. Uh, and you, uh, it, it can use a, a model as a constraint. So means we have more equations in, to solve that problem. And secondly, uh, it can assimilate the uh, radar data within a uh, time window. So we can see it can use more observations. So, uh, it, so it, it, it have, have a better re uh, re result. But our problem, is, uh, our question is that, is there uh, any uh, method to uh, get a better Result assembled uh, uh, with uh, velocity observation, uh, especially in 3D. Uh, can we do that? So there, uh, the idea is that can we get more information of the of this observation? So there are some uh, some examples. Uh, for example, uh, if we have this observation, zeta observation, when uh, if, if we can see this, this, uh, this uh, velocity distribution, distribution of this uh, velocity uh, pattern, uh, we can guess that we have the uh, uniform westerly wind. So why? Because we know that uh, the, the variant, the variant of this, this uh, velocity along this, uh, along this circle is also uniform. This information are used to retrieve the uh, wind field. For example, the VAD method. In this method, the, uh, the uh, variant, uh, variant of the uh, velocity along the circle are used to retrieve the uh, average, average wind speed at the center of the circle. Use this, this equation. 
uh, uses uh, uh, the, uh, all of the observations along the circle to, to retrieve the average U at, the, at, this, uh, at, uh, at the center of the circle. And uh, uh, our two methods, the uh, VAP and the UW te uh, techniques, these are two observations. Uh, they, la they labor two observations to solve <coughs> the average when at this and at here, use the difference of the two observations, use this equation, your two observations, the, uh, <coughs> the labor observations to solve the average, average when at, at, at here, u and v. Uh, you, this, this method can use not only the uh, velocity itself, but also use the variance uh, of this uh, velocity along the uh, animals. So based on that, there is another uh, method uh, proposed to use the uh, observation along the circle, uh, along, along this, this circle. We use the uh, observations in this uh, circle to resolve to the average wind in this, in this region, use this uh, equations. So use the observations in this, in this, uh, in this sector, and we can get the average wind at this, at this, uh, at this uh, area. And in this method, the, the size and the shape of this sector uh, can be chosen by ourselves, uh, ourselves um, according to our requirement. So if, if we change the size, uh, shape and the size of sector, so for example, if we uh, use a very, uh, uh, very short, very small, uh, small error, for example, if you just only use two points, or very, very, uh, very, small, error, very small error, it's U, uh, VAP and UW method. If we uh, expand this circle, uh, the sector, you expand it to the full circle, so it's VAD method. So this this method is flexible. So we can choose uh, we can choose the size of shape by ourselves. So based on that, we uh, we proposed a new operator. The traditional one is this one is this operator, and we introduce this one. This this operator we do two equations and use the observations within a given uh, area. In this, uh, we use all of the observations in this area to, the, uh, to get the average, uh, average uh, wind speed in this area. For, from here, we can see that firstly, we, we have two equations. And secondly, we can use all of our observations within this, uh, this area. So, if we use this, uh, use this, uh, th these equations as operator, we uh, we we have two op uh, two equations, and we can use more operations. So it's it's a it's a another way to solve the undetermined problem. So uh, the difference between the uh, two uh, operators, uh, the traditional one. Uh, the uh, one point uh, use one or every every point, and the second one we use the uh, the, uh, every, the, the uh, operation in this area. So it's not a, uh, not a un under determined because there are two equations. But uh, but please remember that uh, this 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 equations as related to the. Average the wind in this in this area, but it's, it's but we have uh, we have two equations, and also we in this you you if we use this uh, this equations, the, the errors the size and the shape of the errors can can be chosen by ourselves ourselves, and we can use same uh, sectors both in uh, observation uh, in the radar of operation space and also in model space. So we, we, we can match the, uh, size, the size or shape of, 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 this, of, 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 of this area uh, in both in um, observation space and the model space. Uh, and meanwhile, we can use all of the data, all of the data within this area. So uh, uh, based on this, um, this method, we, ca uh, we uh, carried out an uh, experiment 
in this experiment, uh, firstly, I'd like to show uh, uh, an example using the, the uh, idealized experiment. So, uh, firstly, we're giving a wasted wind, the uniform wasted wind, and we can have the radar is here, and this is the observation of the radar. The, uh, when there is a wind, uniform wind, and the observation we uh, adhere the, uh, the the dot adhere, and if we use a traditional observation, we can uh, as well as that adhere. The radar observation is the uh, out, out outward motion uh, at uh, towards this one, towards the south uh, southeast, and so. You use this, use the traditional observation. You, we, we use the background uh, with the wind, wind speed uh, uh, of zero, so we can say the increment here uh, uh, more obvious. So if you use the traditional one, the the uh, analysis increase is this one, uh, this one, and also if we use a uh, very small area using uh, the new operators, if the size is very small. It's very close to the traditional one, but if if we uh, expand the uh, the size of the, uh, for example, if we use this area, uh, and we can uh, in traditional one, we can use the uh, operations within this within this this domain, within this domain, and we can also get an increment in, uh, analysis increment uh, increment uh, point uh, south south uh, southeast. Because we all the observation the, the direction yeah, this one, and if, oh, this is uh, using the new uh, observation. We can say the uh, we can get uh, increment uh, towards uh, southeast, but we move this side, and if we further increase the size of this uh, this domain, uh, also a traditional one we use a uh, dot, a small dot uh, as a super orb. In this area, so we can uh, get the observation. Uh, the increment uh, here is also point south east because the uh, observation of radar is the south, uh, the uh, out outward out, outwards. And the, from here we can see that the increment is moved to east, it towards to east. And if we more uh, expand the uh, this size, the size of uh, of this uh, of this domain uh, as this one, in the, in the radar observation, there there is inward, this is outward, so the difference, uh, the the uh, observation uh, velocity of the ob uh, radar observation are different here and here, and the, uh, using traditional one, we get uh, increment and this one, the inward. Outward, so it, the increment like, like this, this one. And if we use all of these uh, observations to uh, to uh, you, you use this uh, a new one, we get the increment and this one. It's western wind, western wind at here, because you, if you use uh, use a uh, new one. We, uh, we we can get uh, we know that inward outward is is the, uh, is related to that westerly wind as this one. So this is an uh, idealized uh, uh, experiment. So use all of the uh, lead, ra radars uh, here. There are five radars. Uh, the data setting in traditional uh, method we can use the off, uh, this is example use the uh, use the super orbs super super orb and here, but if we use a new one, we just uh, have uh, some uh, grids. We use the every uh, all of the observations with within the grid within grid to uh, to add uh, the observation. So there are five there are five radars. So this is a uh, uh, recycling uh, and assimilate the uh, data with uh, every every one hour uh, from uh, uh, six zero to twelve zero. Uh, twelve zero. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, oh, the, this is the increment. We can say this is background. This is a, a case of typhoon. 
Uh, and this is the background uh, assim uh, assimilation using the uh, traditional operator and the new operator. You can uh, the uh, error areas of the uh, same level pressure, the central C level pressure, the error uh, decreased uh, using the new one. The uh, traditional also uh, using the traditional one also decreased, but uh, using the new one uh, get uh, get a better result. There was, uh, the, this is a wind speed, maximum wind speed error at here. And the, we can say that the, the, uh, on the three, uh, three kilometer, the uh, wind speed, uh, increment of the wind speed are different. So this, uh, the, 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 you use the new one, we can get a better one, be, uh, be, better analysis. And the, uh, 12, uh, use the 12, 12R forecast, forecast, this is, uh, here is the best track. And uh, this one, this, this line is for the, uh, using the new one, uh, new operator forecast, track forecast. And the errors of the uh, surface, uh, of the mean, uh, minimum set level pressure, this is the uh, forecast error. We can, we can say that we can get a better result uh, here. So that's, Let's see the uh, experiments using new uh, using new one. Uh, so, what we are going to do is how to uh, merge this operator in GSI uh, system. Uh, th there are two uh, two forms to apply this uh, operator in GSI. Uh, the first one is uh, you, you as we well know that we use this uh, equations. Uh, this is the observation space, and this is the model space. So in uh, data uh, in preprocessor, we calculate this characters the uh, left side of the equation, left side of the equations in paper size to calculate the, the parameters, two parameters, and also we uh, could uh, uh, record the uh, weight here, the weight. And in model domain, we calculate the average wind speed and also use the uh, weight, use the weights calculated in, in the pre precessor. Uh, and then finally, we minimize the difference between the two, param uh, the, uh, two uh, parameters, uh, one, uh, one in ob observation space and uh, uh, other two in model space. This is Y form. In this form, the, the, the advantage of this form is that we can uh, uh, we can uh, you uh, calculate this operator in pre process and uh, it uh, save the it will save the computer resources. Uh, but it, the advantage advantage of this um, form is that we we should use new. Uh, 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 write some new uh, codes because they are totally different uh, from the, uh, the ob observation observations we knew, we just allow. And there there is a other form uh, of the of this operator. Uh, traditionally, we use uh, we use this one uh, UV uh, and the observation of velocity, and we use uh, uh, this all. Th uh, the, the observations in uh, within a domain within a, uh, given areas, and uh, use the average of the average wind of in this area. So we, we use it, uh, the observations here as one group. So the the uh, unknown variables are same, and there are more observations, which. Uh, it, it means that we can uh, solve the solve the, uh, the this variables use use more observations and use, use this one. And uh, the two forms the two forms are equivalent because if we use the list uh, list uh, squares to s solve this problem, finally we can get this form. It's it's equivalent. But the difference is that if we use this form, we uh, we should uh, use a preprocessor to calculate. Calculate the parameters, but in this form, we we we, we just uh, we do not calculate the in pre process. It minimizes the user uh, in the min, uh, minim, uh, minimize process. 
But the advantage of that is, uh, as we, uh, is that we should use more computer resources because we have to use all of the observations, we, all, all observations you, uh, in, in this, in, in this uh, area. You know, all of the, uh, uh, during the minimize, uh, min, min, minimize process, we should use all of the uh, observations. So e e we need more memories, and we also need more uh, compute, uh, uh, compute, uh, compute time. But there is also an advantage if we use a, a, a simple form. Uh, firstly, you, you very, you're very simple to uh, use, use it in GSI. We just uh, uh, a very, uh, very small change in, in, in the, uh, uh, in the, in the uh, two uh, oper operator uh, codes, very, very little change. We just uh, adjust the two, uh, two uh, preprocessor uh, processes to let more uh, observer, uh, observes uh, go to the uh, minima uh, minimization um, process. So th this ch change uh, is very small. And meanwhile, so th here, we uh, here we use the, uh, the average, uh, average of the uh, wind speed. Uh, wind speed. Uh, if we use, uh, we can uh, assume that it's not, this is a uh, large, large scale. Larger scale when when the speed, so we use a uh, filter. For example, the Gaussian smoothing filter. So uh, so get uh, so uh, obtain the uh, largest scale when the speed within within this area. Uh, instead, uh, now the in traditional one, the bi bilinear object, uh, interpolation I use usually at here. Uh, now, if we use the uh, smoothing filter to get the uh, largest scale. Uh, large scale wind, wind speed had here, so we can uh, expand. We can change this uh, shape and uh, the size of this uh, of of, uh, of this uh, of this grid we we, we used. Uh, for for example, now we can use this uh, use this operator uh, here. O operator use it uh, around. The, uh, uh, the the grid model grid around this uh, this point. Use for example, we use a uh, eight or even 30, uh, 30, 32, or you, we can use it larger or smaller uh, in uh, in this in this method. And if we oh, if we use the uh, set the uh, area very small, for example, we only use the uh, the grid, uh, model grid around this uh, this this point, only eight 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 grid, and use this one is very similar to the older one because if this one if this uh, area is very small, the the, the um, generally uh, they are same. So the so the, the, if we use this one. The is uh, is uh, is com uh, compatible, is comparable, uh, com compatible to the uh, old one. So uh, now with this uh, with the support of the DTC, uh, the, the, with, uh, supported by this uh, project, uh, we we added the codes in the uh, GSI uh, system, and uh, when case study is carried out. Uh, to test it, so there are some primary results. This is the model domain and the and the radar stations uh, at here. So the, uh, there are some experiment, experiments. First one is a control run without data simulation, and the uh, second one is the data assimilation but without the radar data, and the third one is the, uh, with radar data using the traditional operator. And the fourth one is uh, using a new uh, operator. And we also carried out the cycle uh, observation experiment. The uh, stage four data, uh, rainfall data are used to uh, ver verify the result. So this is, case is chosen random. So this is a uh, 12, uh, 12 hour accumulated rainfall. We chose this, uh, this region to uh, to test the uh, to verify the result of our uh, experiment. 
So there are some results I uh, showed it here. So the le left, uh, left one is the observation. Uh, every one hour ob observation, this, this is the uh, rainfall. And the control one, uh, as I mentioned, uh, without radar, with radar using the traditional one and the IVAPC new one, and there, there's the uh, cycle uh, assimilation you, uh, every 50, uh, 50 minute, minutes, 50 minutes to uh, for, uh, zero to six, 60 minutes. So the big difference uh, we can see from here, there are two uh, ring belt, ring belt, uh, uh, for one, uh, two, this wind belt moved uh, low, uh, north e east, and this wind belt moved move south southeast. We can say it moves this this one this this move here and here, and this one is weakened, and this one move southward. But in the uh, control run, uh, from uh, here we can see it. This uh, southeast belt is stronger than observation. And it's more, more the uh, south, the uh, north, north east. And this another wind band is dis dis disappeared. We can see it uh, here, the observation is here, and this one is moves northeast, northeast. And this, there is very weak, and finally it dis dis disappeared. So this, this wind band is missed. It, it, it missed in uh, control, right? And the, uh, the assimilation or, or can, uh, the, uh, the northeast belt uh, is weakened, is weakened uh, compared to the control run. So it's, uh, it's um, more similar to the observation. So, but it also missed this, this belt. This, this, this belt, this zoom belt is also missed. We can see it here, missed. It's very, very economist. So let's see the radar, radar, uh, using traditional one without assimilation, we can see that it's also, this one is also uh, missed, this, this, this one built. But you see, I will see just once uh, at zero, zero UTC, uh, the observation also, uh, it's input, but not very good, not very good. This, this one band is also missed. But it's, we can see that it's better, it's better, it's more closer to the observation. You can see it, it's more closer to observation. But if we use this uh, cycle, use a one hour uh, cycle with, uh, in every 50 minutes, this ring band, we can see it, this, this ring band uh, is better. It's better than others. So it's a move south, move southeast. But it's only in, uh, in, six, hour, in uh, six hours. So it's, it's also missed, but also, you know that we just we only assimilated the wind speed uh, in this case. So uh, after that, this is a forecast of to uh, six to 12 hours. There's some difference, but not very ob obvious, uh, different, uh, ob ob obvious uh, improvement. So the uh, other equipments we use the one hour cycle. Uh, the, we have seen this result, and we use one hour cycle. So, uh, one hour, two hour, three hour cycle. So the forecast we can see that we we can further uh, ca capture the, this 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 pattern. We can see that it's better, but uh, it's also missed uh, in long uh, for a long time forecast. So anyway, uh, you. This primary result uh, was also uh, very uh, courage for us. So this, uh, we assimilate more Zeta data really uh, give some improvement. This is a, a six to 12 hour forecast. So this is a, a straight score of the, of, of the forecast. Uh, the left one is the control. The control is very good in this case. The control is really good, and the assimilation, the uh, without data, traditional one, and the use of IVAPC method, and the red one is use uh, after one hour cycle. The red one uh, uh, use new uh, new operation, uh, new ob operator, and uh, one hour cycle we can get the, uh, 
uh, get a, a, a positive uh, impact of the forecast for uh, with threshold of 0.1 and 2.5 and 5 millimeter per hour. So that's a uh, primary result of the, this experiment. So finally, we can uh, say that uh, in this in this study, uh, we proposed a, a forward op operator for radar uh, radio velocity assimilation. This measured based on the IVP method. The main idea is that we can use more observation and also we can use more information uh, besides the ve ve velocity itself. And this operator uh, can be used in, in GSI system. And the, the primary results of the uh, or, or show some positive impact. Uh, but uh, we should do some more uh, res uh, uh, research on tuning the uh, operator, also tuning the preprocessor. Uh, and we know that in the, you, if we use this operator, uh, we, sh uh, we should use more observations. But generally, there are, there are uh, super orb and thinning procedure in the, in this, uh, in the pre preprocessor. Uh, we, we should tune in, uh, tune in that. And uh, after uh, this experiment, we do uh, suggest that we should uh, we can put more efforts on radar uh, velocity assimilation. It, uh, it uh, have more positive uh, impact if we do some more uh, research on it. So it's 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 hopeful for us to use, use more. Uh, read as, uh, radio velocity in our numerical model. So uh, that's what we uh, are doing uh, here. Thank you. We have time for questions. Yeah, for the last experiment, do you consider the refractivity? No. Oh, so low refractivity? Yes. Okay. A lot of the question is when you say cycle 10, one hour, two hours, what, what does that mean? It means more frequently update or the cycle. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that, that yeah. 10, 30, 40, 60, what does it yeah. mean? Uh, this, this cycle, this con the configure of this cycle is uh, uh, estimated uh, at uh, 50, 50 minutes, 30 minutes. minutes. Oh. And uh, forty minutes to uh, sixty minutes okay. uh, every fifteen minutes. So you are more frequent. Than yeah. Of the yes. Data. And this research is uh, only every one hour. Okay. 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 Yeah, we did a similar experiment over certain domain use uh, data reflectivity. When you use more frequently, then after that you will see more detailed yes. structure. Yes. I think the reflective is very helpful to mm. trigger the uh, precipitation. Okay. But the, uh, for the uh, velocity, we know that it, it firstly it changes the dynamic, okay. and then changes uh, the uh, precipitation pattern. Okay, thanks. Uh, thank you. Okay, please. This, this is probably a silly question. Maybe I missed something, but the, the computational requirements for your standard versus what what your new method is it any different? It oh yes, there are some difference, but I uh, you know I, I do not uh, detail, uh, detailed examined. But the uh, challenge for us firstly is that uh, the memory in, in increased dramatically. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ah. You, you, you know, uh, in traditionally we uh, keep uh, one po one observation within uh, one, uh, five five uh, degree estimates of five degree uh, four four kilometer. So one one observation, but now we use all of the observations at in that, that domain. So this the memory is dramatically increased. Okay. Question. I have a question. Okay. How, how do you assign the observation error for observation? <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it, it's also a, a, a challenge. But, but why uh, I, I like to use a simple one? You, you know, uh, there are two forms. 
So if we use this form, uh, if we use this form, the ob observation errors for this parameter should be uh, should be uh, calculated, calculated, or uh, then this, this is a new operator. Mm -hmm. But I like to use a simple one. The simple one. This is the same, same, set, same. The observation is the same, but the difference just of the, the average of the model variables. So I like. So this is reason why what, what I'd like to use this one because I, and uh, uh, besides that, if we use this one, we can use all of the processes, processes, uh, pre process or in the uh, old code. No more questions? Okay, thanks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.